Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I'm here to do your daily reading but I wanted to start it off a little differently because I've been sitting here doing your pre-shuffle and just at the splits it's telling um it's telling a story, okay? It's it's a deep story. I'm like, "Wow, I wish <laughs> like I wish I would have started like showing you this oh i don't know 20 minutes ago because i mean seriously it's been pretty cool anyway cancer i am going to share the pre-shuffle with you here um and uh yeah this reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you just don't force anything cancer take what does resonate toss out the rest okay don't try to force anything into your world and thank you so much you guys i love you i love you so much um all of your comments your your likes subscribes I, you're my soul tribe my peeps you're my peeps cancer and i'm so grateful for all of you i really am okay so at the split right okay see someone is in love with you cancer i'm telling you we're jumping right in right and this is your pre-shuffle okay someone's in love with you cancer uh they're actually i feel like they're watching you from afar they're very dreamy uh this person thinks you're beautiful um it's like they know every curve of your face you know what i mean this person may have a picture or something like that where they've studied your face i feel like they would do pretty much anything to see you again um yeah they're in love and i feel like they're realizing that okay <laughs> yeah all right yeah and they feel lost without you cancer they feel lost without you yeah, usually the, the one will stay on the bottom sometimes. Not all the time, but this person has a decision to make, okay? In order to get to the one that they love, which is you, we'll just leave this out. In order to get to the one that they love, it looks like they need to break free here uh, from a karmic relationship where they're sh shouldering, like, all of the burdens, okay? Um, this karmic is very bossy they they um they may have to give this person like a harsh cut off in order to get to you but definitely a decision that they have to make in love hold on <laughs> let's read the split again yeah uh, this has been a, a huge impact a hard hit here for th for this person is um, realizing that they made a bad decision I feel like trying to break free of this karmic individual who's very bossy um, like I said this uh, makes this person pretty much they do everything and I feel like they're low-key afraid of this karmic and they know that um, cutting this karmic off is going to be a huge hit for them like I feel like they're fearful of whoever they're around Hold on, let me give it a couple shuffles. Yeah, but they're in love with you, so there's a perfect storm coming up, Cancer. Okay, we've talked about the storm before. Because this person is about to cut off the karmic, they're about to make that decision. They know what they've got to do, okay? But it's going to cause a storm. It's going to cause a storm. I just want to see what this is. You are not going to be affected in any way, okay? Because you have been pulled out of it by the divine. Um, you know that seclusion, right? Uh, you've been secluded. You've been tucked away. Um, yeah, I feel like your person could be trying to reach you on the 5D, but regarding this, like maybe you could be picking up on feeling like something is coming or something's not right, okay? I feel like this is a warning that your intuition is picking up on, all right? It's a warning sign. perfect storm on the bottom of the deck this person this masculine realizes they cut their nose off to spite their face um yeah this this uh perfect storm could cost this masculine a lot i feel like they're just really scared they know they're gonna get their butt kicked here by somebody 
Um, they're, it's either they're, they feel like they're going to get their butt kicked or go through a massive fight with the karmic, or um, they're going to lose you one way or another. One way or another, they're scared. <laughs> and all they want is you. They could be getting messages through music, um, song lyrics, movie scenes, anything. This person is receiving messages and they're scared because they've been told that the perfect storm is coming too. They've been told what they need to do here. I feel like this is a masculine who is starting to understand um, the divine. And I'm looking at this, you see this tiny, I never noticed that before. A tiny little 92 down here, that uh, that adds up to an 11. <laughs> I never noticed that before. Honestly, um, that's a divine number. So this person is getting messages from the divine here, okay? And it's freaking them out. They're getting, you're getting warning messages. You can feel it, cancer, something's coming. They can feel it too, okay? Yeah, see? They can feel it. You can feel it. I feel like you're the star energy. Uh, you could be a divine feminine. This could be a divine masculine. Okay? I feel like you're both intuitive here and you're, you're both, you've both been re receiving messages. Okay, let me just shuffle it a little bit more. Yeah, this is what, this is what I do in your pre-shuffles, Cancer, but tonight it was really cool. Yeah, this person's going through it. I feel like they want to reach out. They want to reach out to you, their star, the one who's the healer, the nurturer, right? But you're not affected. Like, you don't really know what's going on in the background. Ooh, that one wanted to drop. Yeah, this person is being... I, I keep seeing the whole weighing the heart with the feather, okay? Um, this person's under judgment big time and it's and they're getting their karma they know and they know that you're the answer to this this is bringing on a major life change for your person okay i feel like they're going through karma here yeah how's your character because i feel like this person they it says love to hate you i feel like um it's like they love you but they hurt you so bad and they and and uh they could be very angry, very jealous, because I feel like you're, do, you're not affected by any of this, okay? So that's like, they could be envious, because their, their life is in turmoil. They're, they're laying here burning right now. This is karma. Um, it's kind of like your life being in hell, okay? And they're going through a major life change. They Remember, they need to make a decision when it comes to love, but it's a major life decision. Okay, it's going to put them on one path or another. With any luck, they're going to be able to nurture and heal this connection. But the star card, that stands for your energy, I feel, Cancer. They, they need, um, they, want, they know they, they face a life change here, that they're freaked out about, they're scared, they're afraid of the karmic, they're afraid of the change. They're under massive judgment here. It's almost like their world is falling down on top of them. And uh, um, really all they want is their star. I feel like this person's kind of praying at this point with luck here. Like hoping for a, a, a serendipitous moment kind of thing. Some kind of opportunity where they can just reach out. They're praying. What did I say? God. Next to the star. I feel like right now you're being protected, Cancer. Um, remember, you're not affected, right, by anything that's going on. You're the star here. You're the person who's been put out in the public eye. Um, shining brilliantly you're helping to heal other people you're a healer an empath someone very intuitive earth angel energy to me to me earth angel energy always comes off of the star card and the temperance angel card that's just how i sometimes read those cards but yeah because of the work that you do in the public eye for the divine 
whatever messages you're sending out to help other people, guide other people, right? Um, because of all of that, I feel like um, God is protecting you, and that's why you're out here not affected, and that's why this person, they've got to go through God to get to you. They now have to go through the divine. I call this whatever you want, right? I call God, God, or the divine, or spirit, right? <laughs> right? Uh, but they've got to go through the divine to get to you. Okay, you're gods now. Yeah, you're gods now. And, and uh, yeah, that's, that is a huge hard hit for your person. That should scare your person a little bit. It really should, because that, this means that you're, if, you're, if you're working for the divine here, um, and you've got special abilities, you're an empath, a healer, uh, you're, you're a divine feminine, and you said goodbye to this person. If anybody sent you any kind of negative juju, because people out there are completely obsessed about you, Cancer. If they sent you any negative bad juju, um, you're protected from that as well. Okay, I, I'm going to take that one in reverse. Um, so, yeah, I feel like you just have God's protection. They're out here strong. The divine is out here strong in your reading. People are jealous. Yeah, people are jealous because you are getting what you deserve. You deserve a peaceful, happy life. Um, shining brilliantly, okay? Being absolutely beautiful, right? And loved by God. Yes, you are getting what you deserve, Cancer, and it's going to be a beautiful life here, a very peaceful, serene life, and people are jealous of that. And still you're not affected. I feel like this person, though, this masculine, they're scared. They want you so bad, Cancer. They are in love with you, but you know what? So is God. And God's a lot tougher than they are. And, uh, and... He says, um, you know, the divine says that there, this person needs to learn a lesson first. They need to pay their karmic debt. They can't bring that to you. That's why you're being protected here. Yeah, your person's scared. They're still praying, though. They're still praying, okay? And that's... Uh, you did your job there, Cancer, okay? You brought somebody... You brought someone to God, so hey, you did your job. And that's why you're the star, okay? <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool, though, for a pre-shuffle, right? So I just wanted to, if you guys like the pre-shuffles, let me know. I, I love that split, right? Yeah, somebody's about to take action. They're getting their karmic justice. They're frying here. You could be dealing with a fire sign. What can you show me for cancer? This person's definitely being judged for how they treated you here. They need to, they're checking their character uh, this week for sure. Remembering how they treated you. Yeah, look, this person was very immature. Um, probably schmoozed you. This could be somebody very good looking, right? Um, smells good, very charismatic. This is somebody who's used to getting what they want. I'm feeling like they're talking to somebody here, though. If you look at it the way I am, they could be getting some kind of information here from someone else. You get, uh, Maybe you have a mutual friend, or this could be like an older kid, um, teenager, 20s maybe. Someone very, very immature. I feel like these two are talking here. They're being told something about you. And I feel like the, this person is uh, really watching you, studying you. Maybe they found out that you're entertaining someone new. I don't see you entertaining a page, though. Um... I feel like they, they're getting information here about you from somebody. Yeah, see, gossip. 
there's other people there's a group of three feminines gossiping about you as well so this person may still be with uh, someone else or just hearing something about you they definitely want to come in but this is what's taking them so long it's like they hear some things and then they have to look into it but yet they can't take their eyes off of you what is this why is the three of cups here yeah, somebody's talking about you, shedding the light, giving this person some information. This could also be a time of celebration for you too, like happiness and celebration here. But uh, over this Eight of Pentacles here, I'm feeling like they're being told some kind of gossip about you. But it's, it's it may be really good though i'm not saying it's bad it, it seems like it's sunshiny and bright good stuff cancer so and i did see the queen of pentacles on the bottom of the deck i feel like this person may be finding out like how stable you are um how well you're doing with your finances maybe your business something like that loving yeah this person i'm telling you they need to make a decision when it comes to love, okay? Um, and I feel like this person, they can't stop watching you, Cancer. I'm telling you, they cannot take their eyes off you. So I feel like this person's watching you from afar, okay? Watching you from afar, getting information from other people. I feel like they've got somebody younger here feeding them information. I don't know. Um... They're hearing things maybe in the community or through your friends or seeing you out having a good time. Something's coming to light. And this person, they've taken way too long to come forward here. Way too long. I feel like that's why they're kind of frying here. Okay, and I feel like this person, you know, they came in, they got what they wanted, and they, they may have left, and now they're asking somebody about you here. Clarify this page of wands. What are, what are these two saying to each other? <laughs> what are they doing? What are they talking about? Give me one more. Somebody could be going to jail. What is this all about, Cancer? I feel like this is like somebody who's unable to make any kind of move. They, they need to confront the things that they've done in the past here, but they don't want to. It's like they can't or something. It's like they can't. I feel like you're you're moving forward, Cancer. Maybe that's what they're hearing. And now they feel kind of like blocked. Clarify that. Yeah. In order to get you back, Cancer, this person has to explain everything that happened, okay? They need to explain the things that they've done. Um, they could have even uh, engaged in this gossip, and they would have to tell you that, okay? They would have to tell you all of this stuff that they did wrong, and I feel like this person really doesn't want to do that. I feel like, too, they're, they're just not ready to come forward, okay? Um, they they know they've got to apologize here in order to rebuild this okay this is wanting a what they want to reunite they do but they know there's just a fish in that cup there's something not right here cancer there's something not right i feel like maybe maybe they could be telling some rumors and gossip about you You know, there's another king, too. Did this person maybe told, I feel like they maybe ha, um, told this 
king of pentacles may be something about you because now we've got a king of pentacles in regret because they turn their back on you i feel like we've got somebody here who just spreads rumors about you cancer i feel like they're they're um there's this fire sign over here leo aries sag doesn't have to be though i've got pisces too gemini but i feel like this person kind of they they want to get you back as well they want you back also we've got two kings out here but they spread rumors about you it's almost like if they don't get their way or if, or to get your attention or something like that or to get back at you for something they will spread your name all over the place i feel like they talk to other people that are immature that gossip goes from party to party out here feel like they may have dragged your name through the freaking mud because even though they want to get you to calmer calmer waters here cancer those the things that they said are still going to be around you I, I feel like they they have maybe even said something to this king of pentacles here because this king of pentacles is in a lot of regret I feel like they listened here to something that this person said. So you've got a couple of people here, and they know they were wrong. Now they can see that you're the one that they want. Now they can see, I feel like this person just kind of trashed you behind your back, and you don't know it, okay? I feel like there's a couple of people. Honestly, I kind of get the feeling that this king of pentacles here is this person and i feel like they listen to somebody else and now they can see that was a lie i feel like this person over here did a lot of gossiping about you um a lot of trashing trashing your name trashing your character trashing your you know and and it's for some reason i feel like i really get the sense that this fire sign said something to this earth sign possibly earth sign taurus virgo virgo capricorn and they believed them and now they can see it's almost like they were totally lied to i i feel like this connection was sabotaged but they're still needing to reap their karma for not making it right. Yeah, I feel like now this person over here, um, this fire sign, King of Wands, who talked smack about you behind your back, they're now on the, having to defend themselves because people can see you're out here proving it in the public eye. Remember, you're a star in the public eye, right? You're out here just living your life, but everything that you're doing is proving everything that this person said wrong. So now, now they've got multiple people coming at them like, well, I thought you said this, and I thought you said this. Secretly, um, this person, I feel like they, they want to apologize to you because they want to get back together. Like, I, you know, and that's like, the, I don't understand that. That's not exactly how you get somebody back into your life is by trashing them behind their back. You just don't. Who does that? But I feel like this person did. And now the, there's opinions of others, see, being shot at them. And they're having to defend themselves because, you know what, everything they said was a lie. And, and just by living your best life and shining like a star... I feel like uh, everything is coming out into the open, okay? Everything is pretty clear. It's easy and clear to see that whatever this person said was a bunch of BS. And now we've got this earth sign that's in a lot of regret for listening to this person, okay? They're in a world of regret here because I feel like that's this person here. They're just telling the story. This is kind of like them making an excuse, but 
here's the thing when you come right down to it this person did believe the rumors and the lies they believed it i feel like they didn't even they just turned their back on you cancer i feel like they didn't even give you the decency of a of a conversation about it they just believed it and turned their back and chose someone else over you that didn't work out okay and now they're in a lot of regret all up in their emotions This is a very extensive reading for you, Cancer. And now this person is paying for it because they didn't make it right. Okay? They didn't make it right. And I feel like this person is paying for it also because they're, they seem to be in a spiritual prison. And they constantly, where they're being poked, you know, with sticks. They're being questioned. I feel like their credibility is falling apart. People aren't listening to them anymore. They think that they're full of BS. They're having to defend themselves. They're losing. Each one of these is a friend that doesn't believe them anymore. Okay? So they're getting their karma as well. Um, yeah, look. They're both, both, both of them are falling apart. Man, I'm telling you. Cancer, both of these people are falling apart, having tower moments, uh, can't sleep at night, looking at this fugly bedspread, the patterns of their own behavior, the things that they've said about you in the past, the decisions that they've made, crying in their hands, rolling around in a pool of their own sweat at 3 a.m. Uh, they can't sleep, they can't, this person here can't take their eyes off of you anyway, they're incredibly stressed out, all up in their emotions. This person over here, now they're losing all of their friend circle because nobody freaking believes the lies anymore. Uh, I don't even feel like they're comfortable stepping outside of their house because, honestly, I feel like their people are turning into haters. Um, what did you do to these people, Cancer? <laughs> And through all of it, Cancer, I love you guys. I so love you. Through all of it, you're not affected. No, you're, yeah. Because, look, bottom of the deck, you're the Empress, okay? You're the Empress, and through all of this crap, you have remained in your strength. You've remained really close to God uh, as, an, as a healer, working for the divine, okay? Um... You, you have integrity. You're high vibing. You, you've kept to yourself here about this and you worked on yourself and you know, you're abundant and stable, independent, strong. <laughs> you know your worth here. And these people here, these two, they're freaking falling apart. Yeah, you're protected, Cancer. You're not affected. But, uh, wow. These two are having issues. You know, I guess that's their karma. Anyway, Cancer, that's the current energy. I hope you guys like the pre-shuffle thing because I, I thought it was really cool. Um, anyway, uh, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. I am going to take this over to Patreon, by the way. Um, I want to look more into this person. What is their next move, okay? What can you expect from them next? So if you guys are interested in seeing that, this is the person I feel that can't take their eyes off of you, that they know every, every curve in your face, right? Um, yeah, I want to check this person out, okay? And see what they plan on doing next. So if you guys are interested in that, there's a link to follow at the bottom of my description box. That'll take you right to Patreon, right? And Cancers, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, like, subscribe, share, comment, okay? Uh, if, this, if you like this vibe and it resonates with you, join the Soul Tribe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.